Hello everyone and welcome to a new Precious Plastic video. Today we're here with the guys at Smashing Plastic and we're going to teach you how to recycle 3D printing waste into new precious material. I'm actually quite excited for today's tutorial because it's really bringing together two worlds. On one side, that's the whole Fab Lab Makers 3D printing world that is generating a lot of byproduct waste from that 3D printing. And on the other end, we have the precious plastic world that is often struggling to find pure, clean source of plastic to, to work with the precious plastic machines. So today we're first gonna look at the 3D printing and how the material comes out and learn a bit more about PLA and PEG and how they behave. Then we're gonna understand how to process the material before using it in a pressure plastic machine. We're then gonna shred it and learn how to best do it. And finally, we're gonna use the material to create a sheet using the precious plastic sheet press and learn again how to best use that material to create the best possible recycled sheet. Okay, so here we are. This is a kind of a typical 3D printing fab lab kind of scenario. A lot of 3D printers. These are additive manufacturing machines that basically melts plastic and creates the objects. In the creation of these products, there is a lot of byproducts, a lot of waste that gets generated. Sometimes because of the pro failed prototypes, sometimes failed products. And simply the support that is necessary to create the product is just a byproduct uh, of the making and ends up as waste. The cool thing is that often precious plastic machines are within a fab lab or a maker space. So these machines very often coexist with precious plastic machines, meaning that the waste of a machine can become the raw material of the other. So now next, let's have a look how we can take the waste material from these machines and use it in a precious plastic machine. Okay, but let's have a look at a real life example of this. This is a product that just came out of the machines that you've seen earlier. As you can see, most of it is actually support that is going to be thrown away. Whereas this is the final product. And as you can see, there is almost more support material than the actual final product. However, thanks to the precious plastic machines, you can very easily turn these into new raw material that you can use to further the circular economy. This is the best case scenario when the product actually ends up well. However, very often, the machines get jammed, get stopped, and the printing doesn't come to an end and they get jammed in the middle. Now, all of this material, all of this product would be thrown away because, of course, no one would want an half-built uh, product. As you can see, there's quite a lot of waste coming out of these 3D printing factories. However, let's see what we can do to give a new life to this material. Okay, so of course the first step of any recycling process is to shred the plastic using a precious plastic shredder. Now usually the products made with a 3D printer, they have kind of thin walls, so it's kind of easy to shred them using a precious plastic shredder. Okay, this is our PLA waste uh, filament from uh, 3D printing. And now uh, we're gonna wait uh, to put it in the sheet press. Today we're gonna make uh, a one meter for one meter uh, sheet, 15 millimeter thick. And uh, for it, we need uh, 22 kilos of PLA. Here we are, 22 kilos of PLA. Now we're gonna put it in a mold. Now it's worth to stop a second and really remark how this material is very, very good to work with in a precious plastic workspace. The starting material is already very thin, so once you pass it through the shredder, the outcome is almost like pellets. It's very thin, it's very manageable, it's very easy to work with. Additionally, it doesn't come with any labels or dirt, which makes it very time efficient to work with, with very little processing needed in order to be shredded. Of course, before we put the PLA in the mold, we had to use a mold release. This is a silicone spray mold release that is very useful in the plastic industry, but it's also very expensive. You need a huge amount of mold release. Once we got the 22 kilos ready, we load the mold, making sure that we put some mold release up front and load it onto the sheet press. Working with this type of material makes our life very easy because it's very fine, which means that you can very easily cover the entire surface of the mold. Now, one of the most important things to spread the material in every corner of the mold. This way we can have a flat surface and you're a better pan when it comes out from the sheet first. 
Once the mold is ready, we put it on the sheet press, which has been set at 190 degrees because that's the temperature that PLA melts. And we leave it in here for 40 minutes. Okay, in the beginning, we put the mold open in the sheet press so we can preheat the plastic and uh, make the uh, humidity come out from it. In this way, we prevent to have bubble in the sheet. So now we use this clamp to prevent the bending of the mold in the sheet press. We fix it to the sheet press and we let it half an hour inside before closing it. Now we clamp the sheet to the sheet press and now we are putting it up as close as possible to the heating element. Now that the plastic is full melted, we can put the top on it and close it. Now we press it up, we let it for just uh, half an hour, 40 minutes, and then we do another little pressure at the end uh, of the process. Now the guys at Smashing Plastic don't have a cooling press, so they also leave the sheet to cool in the sheet press. So that's gonna take another couple of hours. Okay, so here we are, uh, two and a half hours have passed, and now it's finally time to see if all our efforts are gonna pay out. Okay, so the sheet is uh, out. First impression, it's, wow, really incredible. Seems to be a lot of electrostatic energy, but wow, it's amazing. It's, it should look so good, but it's still hot. David, man. Are you happy? Very happy. Very, very happy. <laughs> Okay, so this is the outcome of this tutorial, a one by one sheet made from 3D printing waste. Now, the result is really quite stunning. The surface is all clean and smooth and kind of spotless. There's almost no bubbles on the sides and the thickness is also pretty even. And I hope you can really see how 3D printing waste can be a very good material to work with if you're trying to recycle plastic. And of course, you can also go completely crazy with the colors and the pattern. I can't thank enough the guys at Smashing Plastic to really spearhead in the research and development into how to turn 3D printing waste into new, useful, valuable, and precious material. If you wanna learn how to make the perfect sheet, make sure to watch the video right here. Otherwise, I'll see you next week. Ciao!